The Colossus of Rhodes One of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Colossus of Rhodes, was a 33-meter-tall bronze statue of the sun god Helios that stood in the harbor of the city of Rhodes from circa 280 BC to 226 BC. Because Rhodes was a major center of trade in the Hellenistic world and was a strategic location for trade and defense, King Antigonus I Monothalamus of Macedonia and Greece wanted to conquer it in 305 or 304 BC. After a 12-month siege, the Rhodians stood firm against the Macedonian army and negotiated peace. The city of Rhodes built a giant statue of their patron deity Helios to commemorate their victory. The statue was built by Kars of Lindus, costed 300 talents, and took 12 years to complete. The statue had a bronze outer shell and an internal structure of iron beams. The statue depicted Helios with a crown of pointed sunbeams and an arm outstretched in a gesture. The exact location of the statue is unknown, while commonly depicted as having its legs separated, with one leg on each side of the harbor. Most historians believe that the statue stood with its legs together and was on a pedestal. The Colossus of Rhodes was destroyed in 226 BC by an earthquake. The Rhodians wanted to rebuild the statue, but the Oracle of Delphi warned them that rebuilding the statue would bring about misfortune. In 645 AD, a Jewish merchant from Edessa had Muslim workers drag the broken fragments of the bronze statue from the harbor, melted down the bronze, and sold the metal on the market of the Umayyad Caliphate. References to the Colossus of Rhodes can be found in Shakespeare's The Tragedy of Julius Caesar, Trollus and Cressida, and King Henry IV, Part One. In The New Colossus, Emma Lazarus compared the Statue of Liberty to this ancient monument.